Alright guys, welcome back to some more Call of Duty here. We got 140 days until Block Ops 4 is get released for us. So make sure you stay tuned for this channel for more Block Ops 4 videos in the near future. So let's get started. Let's see what we have for us because the playlist is a little bit small. Right now there's like 49% people in the team deathmatch. But on the rest of the game modes, there's not much people in here. So we're going to start with team deathmatch. See how good, see how good I am with these game modes. And go on from there. Alright, so use the Man of War on this one. This one seems like it's a close match. I'm a little rusty in this game, so I don't get like 55 kills like most people. Oh shit. Uh, so that's why I'm like happy that it go back to uh, boots on the ground. Just stay focused on on the ground and started flying all over the place. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was a kill right there. I'm a little rusty, so don't laugh at me. I'm gonna get better. Usually when I'm not recording, I play good. But when I'm recording, I, I'm, I'm ass. Alright, let's see. I know they're like high between here and shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Jesus, see? Oh god. A lot of these people are using like rocket launcher. I kind of noticed that for the past five games I've been playing. She's down. Dude, like. Yes. Oh shit. Oh my god. Fucking trap mine. This one's gonna be like a really close match, judging by it. Uh, let's see here. I don't want to go too fast. Ah, oh, fuck. We almost had his ass. Oh, he got him. You're pretty much camping out. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, see? Jumping all over the place. That's why I don't like... See? That's why you don't jump in these games. I'm rusty as shit. Okay, I'm, I'm getting good. I got two double kills there. Oh, see, that's why. He, oh, fucking jumping all over the place. I kind of noticed that. Oh shit! What the freak is that? What was that freaking disc gun or whatever the hell it's called? So when you're jumping all over the place, you tend to lose. Miss all those kills that he had. Okay, there's someone right there. See, when you're jumping, you miss kills, man. That's how I feel like. I almost had a kill there. Like, when you're jumping all over the place in this game, you tend to miss kills. But when you're, like, boots on the ground, you get, like, a lot of kills. Like, that's what, I don't use this, like, this thrusting shit. I barely use this shit. I barely do raw running. I barely use that crap. I think it's a waste of time. And you got that one person that gets all the kills. So, <laughs> so long I get a win, that's all that matters. Okay, there's so weird around here. See, you miss a kill, man. Oh, wow. Oh, amazing. Doing all that jumping, you're missing all this. Wait, if they didn't did all this jumping in this game, I bet they would, I bet they would be winning right now. Fucking A. Oh, my God. I'm like 6 and 9 at this point. I'm ass in this game. I swear to God, when I'm recording, I'd be like, bullshit. Stop, stop jumping, man. Stop jumping. Oh wow, fucking knife kill. How amazing. Now they're using the radar shit. Ah, fuck! Shotgun, now they're using shotgun. You got shotgunners, you got jumpers. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Be advised. Hostile care package overhead. Down to this. Pick it up. 
How? I got this sorry ass team that's not fucking helping, man. I don't even know where the hell they're shooting at. I'm just gonna stay here. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I was 9 and 14. That was not a good game. They were jumping all over the place anyways. I think if they weren't just jumping all over the place, I think they would have won this match. You know how many kills they miss while you're jumping all over the place? That's just how I feel. When you're jumping all over the place, you miss kills. That's just my opinion. That's from my past experience when I was doing it. That wasn't my best game. That was my horrible game yet. I swear to God, every time I record it, I have like a badass game. But when I'm not recording, oh, I'm like, I'm like top notch. Like I'm really good. That was a horrible game. Let's see if we can try another game and see if we can play a better game than this. Cause this, this is ass. Damn, he works tomorrow. Alright, so one thing that I want Black Ops 4 to fix when the game drops October 12th is basically find matches for people. I'm glad that they don't have the DLC packs of maps anymore because it don't make any sense because there's only like a few maps and matches that I can play until I kind of upgrade to the DLC later on because, you know, I didn't bought the DLC pack. Call of Duty World War II is ass, so I'm not playing that at this point. So we're gonna be playing all Black Ops 4 until leading up to the private beta, and of course, when Black Ops 4 gets released. But I hope that they fix this shit where it's like, the matchmaking is a little bit better than it was previous. It took me a whole hour to find me a match. They put me in the same freaking lobby that I just got myself out of. Now we're playing Newtown, so let's see how Newtown is because you know Newtown is that map that everybody camps so hopefully that um this is going to be a little bit better so let's just see how that goes all right let's see maybe i'll have a better match here Cause everybody knows the Nuketown map like the back of their hand. She's done. Stop jumping. Got my first kill so far in this game. Okay, they're on this side. Cause another response happens. God damn it! I had a, I had a, I had a kill. I had a kill right there. I swear to God, I did. We got like level thousands in this map. Okay, they're on the other side. Oh, nope, they're here. Somewhere. Like, dude, are you serious? I don't know why people camps in that window. Oh. I see you, bitch. Done. I'm gonna do like everybody else. Just jump, jump away from... Okay, you did. Oh crap. Oh! Dude, you're camping there? Are you freaking serious? Well, that match was quick. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that was the quickest freaking ending of a match that I had in so long. Amazing. With these upgrades, you never stood a chance. Everybody always say that people camps. You can't really camp in Newtown's map because everybody knows this map. Everybody knows 
we're gonna come in Newtown's map. Like, if you don't know Newtown's map, I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. Everybody knows this map like the back of their hand. Everybody knows where the respawn time is gonna be at. So, it's always, if you have any complaint, it's always the respawn time. There's certain maps that people do camp. There's one map I haven't seen in so long. I don't know where that, I haven't played that map in a while. Like, shit. But everybody, so far, the maps that everybody's been picking for the past, like, hours since I've been playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has been Newtown. Newtown, Fringe, and there was another map that everybody chose. But other than that, other maps I've seen so far, I have not seen so far. I bet you if I stay in this lobby, they're going to pick Newtown again. Yep, they're going to pick Newtown. Yep, Newtown again. I'm not playing Newtown again, no. Not with people that are like level 1000 in this bitch. Same freaking lobby. Can I build like hardpoint? Can I play hardpoint? Probably not. There's probably... That, that, that's the thing that I'm talking about. Like there's really there's really not much people playing Black Ops 3 at this point. Alright, let's play some kill confirm and see what happens in there. And they put all the good players that are so high rank in one freaking lobby. They never like fluctuates the matchmaking system. I just never really understood that about Black Ops 3. I never did. Alright, let's see how this match is gonna go. Hope the loading is a little bit uh faster than slower. I mean I'm just sitting here just waiting for this map to kinda get started. Alright, let's see what happens here. Alright, we've got overdrive. You see how there's like two reapers? You see how everybody got the same freaking everybody got the same freaking Oh my god, this is not gonna be pretty. <laughs> I can say that right now. Like three people are good in there. But I always feel like I always feel like people buy other people's accounts. Cause when you see these people they suck ass. Kill confirm. What the hell? Like, I'm good at kill confirm. Like, I have no problem with that. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, damn. You know, everybody buys people's accounts and shit. Look, yeah, I'm selling this Black Ops 3 account for like 50 bucks or something like that. You know these little jit. God damn it! They're all sitting there. They're all camping right there, which makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Why are you sitting there camping? Because it's gonna respawn you right in that area. The fuck is that? Wow, he's camping on top of the fucking thing. I wonder what's gonna happen when they don't. They can't camp up there. Cause they can't jump on top of the buildings in Black Ops 4. Like I'm, I'm really gonna see how this is gonna work. I bet they're gonna find some complaint. Ah, oh, come on, you fucking serious? You got better guns than me, anyways. I wanna know how the guns are gonna work in Black Ops 4. Are they gonna be dropping in supply drops, or they're gonna be just like? Okay, you're just gonna camp there for like an hour. Oh god. Be advised. Hostile hardened sentry spotted. I was doing so well in this game. But you know you got that one teammates that don't really care about getting the kill confirmed. Oh fucking A. All they care is about just getting kills. They're just camping in that one fucking spot. Are you fucking kidding me? They, they're just gonna let. They're just gonna come back. On, they're just camping right there. Oh my fucking god, bro! Like you just, come on! You're just gonna sit there and camp all fucking game. That's why I don't play Black Ops Three that much because you got these camping ass little jits who are gonna sit here and fucking camp all fucking game. They're just gonna sit there and they're gonna camp. Like, are you fucking like we were doing so well? I'm emptying all my fucking bullets into your ass. Oh my 
You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> oh my! I empty all my caps in this motherfucker, and still, he gonna slide in there and fucking shotgun me. This is fucking bullshit. And they're just sitting there and fucking camping. Like, fuck. Oh my god, bro. I think that's why nobody's not... I, I don't know. I think that's why everybody's going to fucking Fortnite. There's no fucking campers in that bitch. You can't... Technically, you can't camp in there. I mean, I tried camping in there as a, like an experiment. You can't camp in there. Trust me. You, you can't camp in there. Somebody's texting me, but I don't know who it is. I wonder how this is gonna work. Like I really do. And plus, all of them got the same freaking operator, so there's no advantage in that shit either. So it's like I kind of see why, because the matchmaking is probably a problem, and that's probably the case too. Once you kind of fit your specialist and you see how everybody's skill at, I think that's when it's gonna be really good competition right there. I I I, I kind of understand why they did it like that. I mean, when you look at Rainbow Six, it's. <laughs> You might pick that operator, you can suck ass in that operator. So, I can completely understand. Some people said it might not work. Then again, it may work. I don't know. I don't know how the hell this is going to work with four versus three. Okay, they added like an additional people in there. I don't know what the hell that green label means, but we're going to try this one last time match, and I'm calling a night. I mean, this is one of my worst fucking recordings ever. Alright, let's see how this is gonna work out. He's running on the wall. He's jumping over there. Okay, he got his ass. Okay. I mean, I don't have the best aim in the game. I mean, I'm not that... I don't have aim bots, so... Dude, you scared the shit out of me. Oh, I thought I saw somebody over there. Okay, they're over here somewhere. see here I don't know everybody having like different operators I think it'd be I think it'd be really interesting because as you see in that last match everybody had the same freaking operator and I think the reason why a lot of times you know this team deathmatch is like the one that everybody always plays because everybody don't follow the objective in any game mode like, you try to win to get kill confirms and do domination. All they care about is getting kills. Okay. That's not going to be your main focus anymore. I just want to be in a match where there's, like, solid people in there. And it's not all about, like, putting good people in one freaking lobby. And pulling like the horrible people. Like, I'm a solid player. I don't want to play with solid players. Like, I want to play, like, I want to fluctuate the matchmaking system. But everybody say, you know, Call of Duty is stick with skill base. Yes, I live near the train tracks. I had to drop on his ass. Oh my god. And when you see people, like, you're glitching like a bitch in this game. It's like, you have to glitch to get kills. Like, are you... Like, their badass internet connection. Somebody told me I have to get a router. I'm like, why? I spent like $100 on this goddamn internet. I feel like when you jump in a year, you lose kills. That's just how I feel. Can you shoot through walls and shit? I hate this map anyways. So I can understand why they did like the 5 versus 5 setting. Because you got that 6 person that's fucking ass. The other 3 people like bullshit. And you got 3 people that's pretty solid. So that's a, like a fair advantage. Ah, bullshit. All 2 of y'all right there. My ass couldn't get him because he was jumping all over the place like a fucking monkey. And I understand it. I mean, you got that three other people that ruins the fucking game, and then you got the other three that's pretty solid. Like me, I play like a solid game. 
And internet connection is always the problem for people. Like, it's just... That's the reason why. I don't know how you have, like, first kill. Like, you have the drop on the ass and they still automatically kill you. Like, you have the hit first. Like, I don't ever understand that in Call of Duty. In Destiny, I never have that fucking problem. Like, I'm okay in Destiny. But Call of Duty? Fucking forget it. Like... You see how I have that hit? Like, when I hit him, it should be like, automatic tag. Like, okay, you're dead, because she hit you first. No. No, it's, it's not. I mean, it's a pretty solid game, but I just wish that... You see how- look at that. I think Call of Duty would be doing this shit on purpose. But you know what? You already had a kill. He's gonna get a kill. You already have a kill. You get a kill. I mean, I feel like they're doing this shit on purpose. Oh my god. I wonder how this skill sh kill streets are gonna be like. I'm like 12 and 11. That's like a solid game for me. So I have like a solid, like you see how like there's like, you know, like, I don't know. It's gonna be really hard. So you need to end the fucking match. That's the fuck you need to do. You know what? I'm gonna call it a night. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna call it a night. Fuck this. I mean, ugh. oh my god. I'm gonna call it a night. I must say, this is one of my worst fucking games that I had all night. It, it's just fucking ridiculous. It just pisses me off to a point where I'm just like, fuck it. I mean, I play good. I, I, I for the past. Year and a, no, the past three years and a half, I've been in Black Ops, Call of Duty matches that are not even fucking fair. I mean, I have so many losing streaks. It's unbelievable. If you guys see my losing streaks in this Call of Duty game, it's unbelievable. They put me in games where people don't understand to fucking comprehend. Like, they just fucking suck at Call of Duty. There should be a way where you just need to... Ban these fucking people off of Call of Duty. You know what? You're ruining the game of Call of Duty. You fucking suck. And you f fucking up for everybody else. So I can completely understand why they made 5 versus 5 type of setting. Because you have, you're going to have that 3 people that have a solid game. And then you have two, three ad additional people that just... They fucking ass. They suck at the game. And they're going to ruin it for everybody else. They got like 21 deaths and 6 kills. So I can completely understand why they did the five versus five, the five versus five setting. I can completely understand that. I seen that in Destiny. It don't work too much in Destiny, but I can understand why they went from that setting because you're gonna have like three additional people that's pretty solid. The other one's gonna be solid, and one's gonna suck. When you have like three people suck at the game, and you and the other three people are having a solid game, you're pulling your backbone, and the other three just running around, don't not doing the job that they're supposed to understand. I can completely understand that situation. So I'm gonna call it a night. Hopefully tomorrow's video will be much better than this because this was ass. So hopefully tomorrow's video will be much better. I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I hope you guys have a blessed day.